Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I asked you in my vlog if you'd like to see like a messy, unorganised makeup storage collection video and a lot of you said yes. So like I said, I wanted to get this recorded as soon as possible for you. I'm basically just going to be showing you an overview of my makeup collection. So it's not going to be an actual makeup collection video. It's just going to be a, this is what it looks like at the moment. In my actual makeup collection video, you'll see what it looks like when I'm happy with everything in its own place. I've got new storage to put in, as in like inserts for drawers and stuff. Some of them are already in, but I've got some more that I want to add in and move things around a bit. But I really wanted to just show you what it looks like at the moment and what my plans are for like each drawer where I think things should be going and stuff and then we can obviously compare it to my actual makeup collection video which will be coming as soon as possible. Please ignore the mess in the background which you'll see in the mirror of my makeup collection. So at the moment I'm having a massive tidy up but I really wanted to do this video and get it up as soon as possible so please just ignore the background. So here is like an overview of my makeup collection. So we'll start on this side and work our way across. These are the MAM drawers, which you'll have saw in my old makeup collection video. I won't be leaving any links in this video to anything. All the links for everything will be in my actual makeup collection video, which will be coming up soon. So these just have, I have like bits and bobs in the top drawer. I've got loads of nail stuff, like nail art stuff in the second drawer. And then the rest are like fake tan, um, shower gel, my shampoos and conditioners, um, all my hair stuff. And then the bottom drawer is full of candles. If you want me to show you what's in these drawers in my actual makeup collection video, let me know so I remember to include them. Then on the top here, I've got three different mini acrylic storages. This is just a lipstick holder that I have all of my mini lipsticks in. So we've got Lancome, um, Charlotte Tilbury, Too Faced, Clarins, Estee Lauder, Burberry, um, Lancome again, Clarins and Benefit lip glosses. And then back here, it's just another little acrylic storage. This one's from eBay and this one was from TJ Hughes. And I've just got some nail varnish remover, loads of big bubbles, like flowery bubbles. There's like another Lancome lipstick in there, one of the lip lovers, just because I haven't got enough room in my little minis. And here is just loads of bubbles. And then this storage, which is also from TJ Hughes, I have big bubbles again. I have a nail brush, some cotton buds, and then this is just a Carmex. And then behind these little storage, I have this bad boy. And this is my nail varnish collection. You saw a picture of this on Instagram of this little setup. This storage is from Amazon. If I can find the link, obviously I'll include it in my makeup collection video. If you want me to do a nail varnish collection video, then I'll be very happy to do so, because I have more than these, obviously, in the drawer. So as we move across, I've got two of my brush holder pots, which you'll have saw in my brush collection video. I have got a video including my brushes down there and also including these brushes and showing you through all my brushes. I will have an eBay brush collection video. I'm hoping it's already up by now. So if it is, I will leave that link down below. And then behind here, I've got a little palette holder. This is just a letter holder from Wilkinson's and it's got my Tartlet palette in, well, both of them. And then this is the Naked two behind there as well. I've also got a little room spray and then back there I've got some more nail stuff and then my lamp as well for when I do gel nails. So moving further on underneath my desk I have some stuff down here and um, some of them like these goodies are just for my dad that I haven't had a chance to give to him yet. I've got some sweeties <laughs> and this Ted Baker box at the bottom this pink one has loads more shower gels and lotions and stuff in. Let me know if you want to see like a shower gel um, like bath kind of um, collection video and let me know if that's something that you'd like to see and then I've got a Ted Baker little box which you'll have saw in my first impressions video that has nothing in, I don't really know what to do with it, I just don't want to bin it because it's really pretty this big soap and glory box down here has loads of makeup bags in it and then I've got my cocktail making set which you'll have saw in my 21st birthday haul of Hannah and I've got some curlers at the back which you'll have saw in my Christmas haul and then in this little bin here which also is in my Christmas haul I've got loads of like bath bombs and then these are just YSL boxes that I don't want to bin because I think they're really pretty. <laughs> so on top of my actual desk I have this big mirror and obviously I've got my brushes and I've got this little acrylic set here which is from CC and Sissy which is off Amazon and I've got liquid lipsticks in here and a few lip liners so I've got BH Cosmetics, Stila, Sephora, Lime Crime and then I've just got loads of lip liners in there as well 
moving along, I've got a beauty blender which needs cleaning. I've only used it a couple of times, but it looks really dirty. In this little corner, I've got this little acrylic holder which holds my cotton buds, which I really like. I've got this candle from Primark which needs binning because I've used it all up. The same for this candle as well, I need to depot it out of there. And then I've got a little tiny candle at the back there, which you'll have known from like my old, old, old videos. And then I've got a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Obviously I've got more makeup brushes over here as well. So these makeup brushes are all foundation and like um, powder, big powder brushes. These ones are like little concealer brushes, my setting brush from a concealer and then eyebrow brushes in there as well and some curlers. So moving along I have the nine Alex drawers and ignore this mess down here. These are just bags and a blanket and then some wallpaper for blog backgrounds great thing to get by the way if you're wondering what blog backgrounds to use go to B&Q and get some wallpaper bits these are just loads of bags that I need to sort out they're just handbags basically but these are my nine set drawers at the top of my drawers I have my lipsticks and then just this two-faced little black book of bronzes that just need to put in away which I absolutely love this these drawers are from Muji, and the five set drawers. They were recently on discount, which one of you told me about on um, Snapchat the other day. They were recently on discount, so check out the website just in case they have them on discount still. I've just basically got loads of lipsticks I've seen here. These are just kind of like ones that I don't use very often. These are more cheaper ones, so MUA, Makeup Revolution, Freedom. Topshop's not really cheaper, but I don't really reach for them very often. Um, Wet and Wild and Premark and stuff like that. The next drawer is more of like my chubby sticks and stuff like that. So chubby sticks and lip glosses and stuff like that. This drawer is more lipstick. So we've got my Avon lipsticks, um, Rimmel, NYX, Elf, number seven. Um, I love makeup, which is like Makeup Revolution. And then this top drawer, I've got Revlon, Il Masca, Rimmel, YSL, Nas, Ted Baker, Monaz. And there's some Galan here, um, L'Oreal, Max Factor and all that goodness in there. And then this little thing here is from eBay. I will have this in my makeup collection video in the links down below, which will be coming soon. Once it is up, I will leave the link down below from this video so you can go watch it. This is like really dusty. I really need to get this cleaned. It's like a huge storage your lipsticks and what I really like is you can have your lipsticks as tall as you want so obviously I've took advantage of that so on my front here I've got YSL, Lime Crime, Evan Decay and I've got a row of MAC just after these I've got some Benefit, I've got some MAC lip glosses this one's so pretty by the way <laughs> and then I've got some number seven Ted Baker, Lancome, Estee Lauder, YSL I think that one's Lancome as well. Got loads of Benefit lip glosses, NARS, and I think this is Clinique. And then down this side, I just have some brushes that are a bit too fat or a bit too short to go on the actual little stands. So I've just got some Equal Tools ones, and then that Ted Baker one, which is out of that set that I got for Christmas. So now moving on to these drawers, which is like holds the majority of my makeup. First drawer is all eyeshadows, so as you can see it is a mess in here, like there's so many eyeshadows. I need to find a way of organising this, so I'm not happy with this drawer at all. This next drawer I'm not happy with either, these are all blushes, so as you can see I've got quite a few different ones. Um, Lancome, Estee Lauder, MAC, Ted Baker, I've got NARS, Tarte. So I really want to do something with this drawer, but I'm not too sure what I want doing with it. <laughs> but I want some better storage. This drawer recently has a new storage little divider put into it. Which is just this little one here. You can get these by um by that by Algri or whatever he's called, that that person who does all the acrylic storage. But I actually got this off eBay because that by Algri was quite expensive and I think this was like eight pound or something off eBay which is a lot cheaper so in here I have highlighters um, and then I've got some bronzers, Too Faced, the balm, stuff like that um, and here I've got some contour stuff, um, I've got some setting powder, some MAC powder I've got NYX, I've got a contour kit, some highlighter, Laura Mercier, setting powder, bronzers 
obviously my Chanel stuff and they're still in the packaging because they mean so much to me <laughs> um, and obviously cream contour kit and I've got some highlighters and some powders and stuff at the back there as well but I'm not happy when, like, with this storage either kind of happy with this and how these are all laid out but this is just a mess and there's just nothing's divided up and yeah I need to think of a better way of storing these this drawer is benefit stuff so the reason that I want to show you this is because this drawer is not going to exist when it comes to my makeup collection because I don't need a benefit drawer anymore because I don't work for benefits so this was a drawer that I made that had all the things that I'd like to do my makeup in when I used to go to work and obviously work for the company so I had all of the products in one place and then obviously I had to do a full face of benefits so everything was just in here ready to go and obviously I don't need this anymore so I can finally like separate all of it out and put like for instance my hula can then go in this drawer because obviously that's where all my bronzers are if that makes sense and it gives me an extra draw to maybe like split maybe like my bronzers and stuff up or highlighters up or whatever and use this drawer as well so in here obviously I've got all sorts I've got this which you can get in the Elle magazine which is long gone by now by the time you see this video um I've got what's up hula brushes primers mascaras eyeshadow sets foundation and um, I've got a little z palette here which I used to use so much and I've got more back there and more back here as well the next draw down is foundations and I have done a foundation collection video I will leave it down below but it is a bit old so if you'd like to see an updated one then please do let me know these are foundations that I reach for on a daily basis and these ones are just kind of ones that I don't really reach for I should probably start using and these are just divided up by um I don't know what this box is actually from oh it's a love me beauty box this is divided up by um so i've seen here we have mac nas number seven ysl um Vici, more number seven bourgeois nas max factor then back here we've got like maybelline rimmel nyc rimmel estee lauder philosophy loads and loads back there and then just down the side, which I'm also not happy with any of the storage, but I'm definitely not happy with this storage down the side either. These are all concealers. These are just little samples of the YSL foundation for me to find the right shade, which obviously is this fusion ink one here, which I think I need, probably need to bin, to be honest. And then we've got some more, like a foundation back there. And then these are all concealers. So I've got like NYX, LA Girl, L'Oreal, YSL. Maybelline, MAC, all them kind of stuff. Next drawer is another drawer that um, it's organised, but it's organised mess, if that makes sense. So down here in this little gap that I've got, these are my primers. So I've got YSL, Lancome, Avon, Stila, L'Oreal. I've got Maybelline, Laura Mercier, L'Oreal. I've got down to the side here is that Freedom Brow Palette. Um, and then here in this tub, which this tub is from Muji, by the way, in case you're wondering. And this is all of my Galan makeup, from obviously when I used to work for Galan. So I've just got that all in there. And obviously now that I don't work for Galan anymore, I can actually separate this off. And once again, I can put these back where they're meant to be. So like, this bronzer can now go on the other drawer with all my other bronzers, if that makes sense. So it just shows how long it's been since I've sat and organised all of my makeup because I've still got obviously all my glam stuff together and all my benefit stuff together and I left benefit in like August last year and I left glam in like beginning of January this year so got a lot of things to start out this little divider here is also from Muji and this has got all my brow products in it so we've got um, Freedom, Maybelline, we've got some Gimme Brow in there, Essence, Isla um, I've got this eco one which I got from a magazine the other day. Um, I've got this fake Anastasia Beverly Hills one off eBay for like 99p. I will have a video on this so I will leave the link down below for that video. And then directly below is another one of them little storage ones. They're very very good because you can actually stack them on top of each other. And these are all of my eye primers. So we've got Too Faced, Elf, Avon, Smashbox and the balm. And then back here I have this little storage which is from TK Maxx which I'm very very happy that I got. I only got it recently actually. And what I've done here is I've divided 
all of my eyeliners up. So all of these ones here are all colourful eyeliners. And all these ones here are all my black eyeliners. So we've got for the black side, Autograph, 17, Lancome, Icor, Maybelline, Avon, Nars, Ted Baker, all that kind of stuff. And then the colourful side, we've got number seven. We've got Dior. And then obviously these ones are just ones from eBay. And then we've got a Rimmel one in there as well. And then to the right on this side, these are all mascaras. So I've got some Lancome, some Magnifibers. I've got a YSL kit, which I want to use as a first impression, so I haven't got room to use in it. I've got some Dior ones. And then back here is just loads of other ones, basically. Okay, so this next drawdown is my overflow benefit draw so obviously i have this because obviously i did work for benefit for a long time and i do did used to buy a lot of their products and i also obviously used to get allocation and obviously when new products came out i got new products as well so obviously i do have quite a big benefit collection if you'd like to see an updated benefit collection please leave a comment down below or if you see somebody else's comment give us give it a thumbs up so i know that's what you'd like to see and i was happy to do that for you so obviously in here we've got absolutely all sorts we've got professional foundations tinted moisturizers gimme brows foundations highlighters blushes powder foundations like we've got all sorts in here tints like everything <laughs> i'm not happy with this draw either by the way because it is just like a mess i'm actually debating separating this draw up like my other benefit draw so like everything will be in its normal place so all my benefit blushes will be with my other blushes in my other blusher draw then i can have this draw to like use for other things as well now that i don't have to wear benefit on the daily <laughs> now this drawer below is all skincare and this drawer is like ridiculous these drawers are fatter by the way than these ones this is why i've got more things in them and this is just crazy i've got all sorts in here i've got benefit clarins lancome nivea clinique bare minerals there's literally all sorts in here and Skincare, as you can probably see from my hauls, isn't something that I buy, and this is why, because I don't need to buy any more skincare, I have enough. <laughs> and then this last drawer is kind of one that I've recently done in the past couple of months to put all of my palettes in. I can't remember what I used to have this drawer as, um, but obviously now it's got all of my palettes in, and I absolutely love it because it's just so nice and organised, and I've got all sorts in here, I've got NARS, um, loads of Makeup Revolution ones, I've got some BH, I've got the Balm, um, Naked 3 palette, I've got some like little eyebrow palettes down here that I don't really use. I've got the PH Cosmetics Shanix So palette which I still need to do a makeup tutorial with. If I have already done one I will leave it down below but I don't think I will have by the time you see this video. I've got Sephora, I've got like a Z palette which I just made myself, so I've got some Dior stuff in there and some benefit things. I've got some W7 stuff back here, so in the buff, um, the cheeky trio, I've got some little ones here. I've got this Makeup Revolution one which you love saw mini use on me um, in a tutorial. The thing for me to show you is what's in the actual drawer of my mom drawer. So I've got some little dividers which I also got from Ikea. This desk is from Ikea and my drawers are also from Ikea in case you're wondering. And so these little plant pots but you can get these on eBay as well in case there's no Ikea near you. Let's start on the left hand side. So I've got mascaras in here. So I've got Miss Manga, I've got a L'Oreal one, Ted Baker. These are like the ones that I'm kind of like on the go with at the moment. Um, I've got things in here that I like to use on a daily basis, so I've got the Freedom Pro Studio Priming Water, the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray, I've got Rapid Lash, number 7, moisturisers, little samples, got some lip balms, some mini Lancome products like skincare, mini Benefit skincare that I'm trying to get through, a Nivea lip butter as well. And then moving along, I've got some very dirty um, sponges that need cleaning and then some ones that aren't as bad. I've got some hair clips, pencil sharpener. I've got some little post-it notes in case I want to do like a winged eye look that kind of help to set out the wing. I've got a little brush, another sponge, some cotton buds. And back here I've got some makeup wipes. I think this is the hand cream. And then moving along to the right hand side, I've got a little tub here which is from the Avon Arabian Glow Bronzing Pearls which if you watch my video and I mean like 
you've been following my channel for years you will know that I absolutely love these so I just use this to hold hair clips and I've got this little container here which is from ASOS that you got I, I think I got a watch in it this has some bubbles in there so some black ones I've got a tangle tease a little compact one another pencil sharpener because they always go missing and some tea tree water toning water spray from Lush some more hand cream back here I have just some protein powders and stuff I've got this which is just one of them color switches like a dupe version from eBay and then I've got the freedom pro usual brush bath which is like obviously just brush cleaner I've got this little OPI set which is the New Orleans collection, which is from Just My Look, just because I need to actually try these out. I'm so excited now that my nails are getting in a bit better condition, I can start using it. And then back here, I've got loads of contact cases, because in case you didn't know, I do wear contacts. Um, and I've got loads of these little perfume atomizers as well down the side. And I've got like another little perfume here, which is the Outspoken Intense by Fergie step of the year one and then I've got the elf brush up here as well so that is my makeup collection video I really hope you enjoyed it obviously this is just a storage so this is like just showing you what is in my makeup collection video how it is set out in the moment before I reorganize it all I just want to show you what it looks like at the moment because you've not had an updated one since I think it was like March 2015 when I uploaded my updated one so yeah I thought I'd show you what my storage looks like now and yeah, I'm in love with it, absolutely in love with it. I do think some things need moving around, like I've said in the video, but yeah. Let me know if you want to see an updated makeup collection video when it's all organised, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit subscribe as well. Thank you, bye guys!